we're starting university very soon. No more high school, no more seeing your friends every single day of your life. You're going to university. Your friends are at different unis. You might have some friends still back in the year before. And you don't see your friends all the time. So what do you do? Here are some tips, tricks, whatever you want to call them, into how to survive the uni schedule with friends. Number one, if you really want to make time to see your friends, schedule it in advance. I have a busy schedule. I do lots of things. For example, I have St. John, puppy training, I have uni, I have work, and just other things as well that pop up in my life that I can't always control. So, when I know, when I want to hang out with my friends, I send them a message in a group chat and be like, hey, I would like to hang out with you in this month. When is everyone free? If you can get everyone to agree on a certain day, be like, right, everyone book this day off of work. Make sure no one is happening. Put this in your calendar. We're hanging out this day. Booking in advance is the greatest thing you can do. Trust me upon that. Number two, segueing on from what I said before, having a calendar in your phone or wherever you will be reminded of on your laptop, using the Google or Alexa or writing it down wherever is the best thing. It will become your new best friend. I use my calendar constantly to know when I can hang out with my friends, when things are happening and when I can have a free time to breathe or film videos. Trust me when I say this, calendars are your best thing and if you can sync them up with your friends that's even better because then at least you and your friends can see when all of you have a complete free day together. That is one way you can hang out. Number three, the simple and easiest way to hang out with your friends if you don't have time to see each other for the whole day or can't go out because your parents won't let you out because you're still in that awkward phase of yeah I'm an adult but parents overrule everything I say. Skype call. Skype call or FaceTime whatever you call it is the number one way to talk to your friends when you can't be sitting right next to them. Yes you might miss that connection of sitting with them but hey play a video game across so then everyone can play and you're laughing and chatting or just simply just talk through Skype even if it's for an hour or two it will make you feel that much better because all you want sometimes is to just talk to your best friend. Number five having a group chat with all your best friends can be great definitely recommend doing it even if you send the occasional message of hey love you all i miss you hope you're all doing well those little things will make sure that hey they know that i still love and care about them and appreciate them a lot it's as simple as that also if you go to for example i have a friend who's at a different uni to me and i have a friend who is currently in year 12 i'm in my first year of university sometimes if our schedules line up where I have some time free she might have finished school or on lunch break or as soon as school early we can all catch up for lunch even if you catch up for lunch with one friend and maybe not both in my case I have two best friends that I catch up with sometimes yes I don't get to catch up with all of them at once but if I catch up with one whenever I can at least I can still do that so if you can try and catch up with your friends even if it's just recently like, hey good to see you hug all right Go go back to you, talk to you later, love you, bye. Simple things like that. I in particular am a person who loves to give. So whenever I see my friends, or even if I don't, I'll drop them off a present out of the blue. A simple card, or flowers, or cookies, fresh baked cookies, whatever you do. Little things like that can make a huge difference. I remember when my friend broke up with their partner. I didn't i couldn't see them for a while so instead of not being able to see them i made them a batch of fresh cookies and left them a beautiful card that is something to know that hey and still your friend don't worry don't you forget about that and it's another way of being like hey we got this you know i'm here if you want to have a late night call and see what's going on things like that Another thing, if your friends do sport, so for example, I'm going to use volleyball as the example, if they play volleyball and they have a game or a tournament or something, and if you have time, go watch their game. Even if it's as simple as sitting there cheering them on, that can make a word of a difference. Because go to support your friends, go, even if it's just for like 10 minutes at the end of their game, you can just be like, oh my god, you did so great, so proud of you, hug them, you know. Or if you're not comfortable with your friends to hug or you're not just a hugging person, do whatever your equivalent is. 
I know with a lot of my friends, they do sports or like my uni friends all live a long distance away. So in the school holidays, when it's our school holidays, we will try and make sure we have one sleepover per holiday. That way we can all catch up and relax and hang out with each other. But that may not always work for your old high school or even primary school friends because every uni has different holidays. Schools, like high schools, have different holidays to unis. So not always the holidays will line up. If you can, and there's a party that you're invited to, that the other two are invited to, go do it. Go hang out with them at that party. More than likely, you're going to hang out with them anyway. So why not just go? It's as simple as that. And yes, I can say, oh, you know, do all these things, it's so simple. And I know from experience, it's the, can be the most stressful thing, trying to organize a time because you miss them so much, but you get sad when you don't see them that much or you barely talk to them. But just remember this. When you see your friends, you'll feel like <laughs> exactly where you left off. And if they're not making an effort to want to hang out with you, and clearly they don't want to be your friend anymore. And I don't mean like, oh, they're not texting me every single day. I mean, if they ignore your text messages, if they ignore your messages constantly, not just once, constantly, or if they keep cancelling your hangout, then they don't want to be your friend. And maybe they're trying to get rid of some of their past friends who they don't want anymore. And that can be ripped off the band-aid. It's as simple as that. Now I'm going to end this video here. I hope to help anyone out. If not, it definitely... You a grumpy grump. It definitely helps me out learning these things along the way and sometimes it is painful to learn these things by yourself. So I hope this helped you all. Anyway, you're out, see you guys in the next video. Whoop, sarcasm out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. There will definitely be more uni videos coming, don't you worry. <sighs> my life is taken over from university, my puppy, school, I already said uni. Clearly I'm doing well. <laughs> oh well.